now we will talk about protozoans or protozoans protozoa what are protozoa as we know that microorganisms can be divided into certain groups how many groups five groups they are divided into bacteria fungi algae protozoa viruses so we have discussed bacteria we have discussed algae we have also discussed uh, one of the other uh, no we have discussed two bacteria and algae and now this one is the third one which is protozoa when i talk about protozoa what actually protozoas are these are the first animal these are the first i should say organism first organism these are the first organism on the surface of the earth actually aquatic these are where if we talk about habitat where these are found in moist places everywhere everywhere this will be protozoans are formed maybe in the ditches maybe in fresh water maybe in stagnant water maybe on our body on the body on the body even inside the bodies inside the body that means everywhere you can find or see protozoans these do not have chlorophyll like chlorophyll like chlorophyll as i write this is very very clear that they are not autotrophs they are not autotrophic their mode of nutrition is not autotrophic then what is the mode of nutrition they are heterotrophic or heterotrophs and the mode of nutrition is heterotrophic in heterotrophic they can be parasites and they can be saprophytic if we talk about the examples then amoeba paramecium euglena all these are protozoans i am talking about protozoa the third group or i uh, when we talk about the groups we have discussed uh, bacteria and algae and so i'm saying third group the protozoans are also the one of the group in the microorganisms how these are these are microscopic are microscopic that means very very small we cannot see them with our naked eyes and we need microscope to see these organism as these are very very small they are known as microscopic organism these are the first organisms protozoa means first organism they are found everywhere when we say everywhere means what they are present in the moist soil in the body on the bodies then in the fresh like in the water bodies fresh water stagnant water Uh, everywhere micro this uh, protozoans are present they do not have chlorophyll and so they are not uh, following in the categories of the plants they cannot make their own food and so they have to depend for the food on the other organisms for that they can be uh, they can follow the parasitic mode of nutrition they can that means they can live in the other bodies and they can be saprophytic that means they can be following they can be on the uh, dead and decay organism 
they can get their food from the dead and decay part and uh, example if we talk about there are many examples amoebas euglena paramecium now if we talk about the useful if we talk about the useful part then what can be the uses of uh, these protozoans i would like to draw one or two uh, this one is amoeba we all know and we also know that it has got a central nucleus it has got a vacuole it has got cytoplasm it has got a contractile vacuole contractile vacuole we can even talk about the paramecium i'm not drawing the complete structure over here now for the paramecium it has got lots of cilia now this was about the paramecium uh these all are uh, single cell and we know we have read about the amoeba also all the activities are conducted only by one single cell now how these are useful in what these are useful these are useful as these are very small and can be consumed as the food uh, by the uh, higher organism what they feed upon they feed upon phytoplankton phyto means what phytoplankton means what the very very small or microscopic plants they feed upon phytoplankton and then uh, in course they are being consumed as the food by the higher organism that means what i mean to say is when we talk about the useful aspect useful part of protozoa useful protozoa why they are important they are important as they are the part are the part of the food chain are they are the part of food chain they play very important role in the food chain they are consumed by the higher organisms and the, the that is how the food chain moves further if all these you know actually from the food chain even if the slightest part get disappear even if the slightest part get disappear it gives it hampers the total food chain and these microscopic organisms are uh, taken uh, as the food by the other organism and so these play a very important role in the food chain so i have written over there are the part of food chain and plays very important role now what can be the second use of this uh, i told before this we were discussing about the eutrophication that when alga die what are the one or who are the one you know which decomposes obviously we will talk about the bacteria but even the protozoans are responsible for the decomposition of the uh, anything like you know dead part because they feed on them so decomposes the dead and 
dk matter. This is again a very important aspect because whatever is formed which, which is you know the things which is dead or collapsed the thing which is unwanted or the higher complex material has to be broken into simpler one. Take the example of the sewage if it does not get broken up then what the it will be very difficult the whole uh, no the life cannot survive only because the earth will be full of the sewage only. So, whatever which is there in the bigger form has to be decomposed whatever which is non which is not useful for us or which is not now in the living form uh, talk about the dead plants talk about the dead animals it has to be decomposed and it has to become the part of the nature. So, that all the nutrients all the minerals can recycle can again get free the proteins from the body of the dead uh, organisms the plants and the animals can free can come can again become the part of the nature can again get free and become the part of the nature the nitrogen can come out all the the elements will come out only when the decomposition of the dead and decay part will takes place. So, they are important as they are the the they are at the ground level almost of the food chain they are they are consuming the organ the phytoplanktons and they are being consumed by a certain higher organism. So, they are part of the food chain and plays very important role in the uh, in the food web in the food chain in the growth of the on the natural growth of the organism. They all they are also responsible for the uh, decomposition of the uh, dead and decay uh, part as I was explaining this is also very very important and so uh, I have explained just now. So, it is also that is also reason that why these are responsible uh, these are very helpful for us. Now, the third one I can write is they are used for the researchers and the experiments are they are used for the researches and the experiments for the further studies all these are very very useful aspects of the protozoans. Now, what are the harmful aspect of protozoa? What are the harmful aspect of the protozoa? Harmful aspect of protozoans. As discussed earlier that when we talk about the harmful aspect what can be the biggest one disease yes. So, they are responsible for causing disease causing disease I am again saying I am not writing in the complete sentences are responsible I have not written they are causing disease or causes diseases. So, which diseases are they responsible for like you uh, know the mala like uh, malaria dengue ok. So, malaria dengue sleeping sickness there is no place now to write. Uh, there is no please uh, Kala Hazar many 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 diseases are there who is responsible for all these diseases the protozoans are responsible for all these diseases. Uh, if we talk about uh, you know even the amoebic dysentery amoebic dysentery Again the amoeba is responsible and the amoeba we know is uh, you know responsible for many uh, kinds of diseases. 
if we talk about the malaria who is responsible for malaria mosquito in the body of the mosquito the uh, parasite named plasmodium plasmodium is responsible for causing malaria now in this way uh, there are certain diseases which are very dreadful and uh, the microorganisms like protozoans are responsible for causing these diseases even this part is very vast you know that how plasmodium enters the female anopheles body and then how it's uh, uh, like life cycle gets completed then where it goes and all this is there but i don't think so that it has uh, it is required to discuss over here because the life cycle of the um, uh you know the microorganisms we don't have to discuss that but in broader way all these are the important points to be noted all these diseases are caused by the uh, microorganisms uh, like protozoans so we were discussing about the protozoa we know that we have discussed all these points twice also now the useful aspect for the food chain and for the as they decompose the sewage matter and they are also the part of the experiments and researches and when we talk about the harmful aspect these are the one who are responsible for giving us various uh, kinds of diseases so this was all about the uh, protozoans now we will move to the next part of the chapter uh, that is virus please note this